Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. This is part two of Python Excel automation. In this lecture, we will learn about Excel spreadsheet automation using Python library, which is Excel Wing. So guys, first of all, you need to import the library of Excel Wings. Okay, so how we can do that? So simple, go to the CMD and here you can use pip install Excel Wings. That's it. For my case, I have already installed it, right? Now let me go to the Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, you need to import the library of Excel Wings. So simple import Excel Wings as XW, right? So guys, now I'm going to create an object for the Excel workbook, right? So how we can do that? So I'm taking a variable, which is WB equal to XW dot book. Fine. Now let me run this. So you will see the workbook will be created. Fine. Now in case, let's say I want to check what is the name of this particular workbook, right? So how we can do that? So guys, simple WB dot full name. So this is the workbook name, which is book one. Okay. And guys, now I want to check how many worksheet I have in that particular workbook, right? So how we can do that? So simple WB dot sheets. Okay. So as of now, I have only sheet one, right? So you can see this is the workbook name, which is sheet one, right? And now for an example, in case, let's say if I'm going to insert manually, let's say four sheet or let's say three sheet, I'm going to insert, right? And now if I want to run this particular line, so you can see here, I have three sheet, right? Okay, so guys, now the very interesting question is how we can add the worksheet. Okay, add a worksheet. So simple, I am using here WB, which is sheets dot add. Okay, so guys, first of all, you need to define the what is the name you want to assign for that particular worksheet. Okay, so I am using here the name, which is let's say test, and where you want to insert that particular sheet. Okay, so I am using here the before, before sheet one, right? So simple sheet one. Now let me run this. So guys, you can see here, we have successfully add the worksheet before sheet one. Okay. In the same way we can use, let's say WB, which is seats dot add and here name equal to, let's say test two. And here I'm using before equal to two before equal to two means let's say first sheet is my test and the second seat is sheet one. Okay. So before sheet one, I want to insert a seat, which is test two. Okay. So now you can see here. Now let me run this fine. And guys, you can use the input method as well to supply the worksheet name. Okay. So simple WB dot sheets dot add and here the name and you can use input method. So simple enter sheet name and here I'm using slash T and I'm using right now after equal to let's say test two. Okay. So simple, you can supply the name. Let's say I'm going to supply, which is Python. Simple, right? Now you can see here. So we have successfully added the sheet Python after test to sheet. Okay. And now the very interesting question is how we can check how many worksheet I have, right? So simple WB, which is seats dot count. So guys, I have six seats, right? And again, let's say I'm going to add a worksheet once again, which is add. And here I'm using BBA, which is after equal to wb dot sheets dot com. Okay. So after the six seat, I'm going to insert a seat, which is VB. Okay. So simple. Let me run this simple. Fine. So guys, now the question is how we can apply the loop on worksheet. Okay. So simple for which is worksheet in wb dot sheets simple. And now print w rk, which is worksheet simple. Okay. Now the question is how we can activate our worksheet. Okay. So for an example, my, as of now, my activate worksheet, which is VBA. Okay. So I want to activate my sheet, which is Python. So how can I do that? So simple WB dot sheets. And here you can use Python dot dot activate simple. Now you can see, right? Okay. Now the question is, let's say how we can delete a worksheet. So guys, simple, let's say WB, which is sheets. And for an example, let's say I want to delete this particular sheet, which is VBA, right? Then simple, I can use here the delete. Now you can see here VB has gone fine. So guys, now the question is how we can create an object of a spreadsheet. Okay. So simple, I'm taking a variable, which is WS equal to WB and which is seats. And here you can use Python. Simple. Now let me run this. 
and if you want to check the name so simple ws dot name okay so this is my the name in case you want to activate that particular worksheet so as of now my current worksheet which is python so let me go to here and now i am using ws dot activate simple okay and if i want to check how many cells i have in that particular spreadsheet so simple i can use ws dot cells simple right and also i want to check the index of that particular spreadsheet so index will be let's say 1 2 and 3 so my index will be 3 for the python spreadsheet right so simple i can use here ws dot index right and now the question is how we can rename the worksheet okay so simple rename a worksheet so let's say i am going to rename the worksheet which is test okay so simple wb which is seats and here you can use test right dot name and here you can use simple python worksheet now you can see here we have changed the name right and guys also using the index we can access the spreadsheet as well okay so for an example let's say i want to access the sheet 4 so simple i can use here wb which is seats and simple 4 so you can see here this is the sheet 2 so what it means the 4 here so guys simple 0 1 2 3 and 4 right in case if i want to access the first sheet then simple i can use wb which is seats in the long bracket i can use 0 okay and simple you want to activate yes you can activate right and guys now very important question is how we can hide or unhide the spreadsheet okay hide or unhide So guys, here I am using let's say WB, which is sheets. Which sheet you want to hide or unhide? Let's say I am using here the WS. WS means this particular sheet, which is Python, right? And here I am using which is API and visible equal to false. Okay. So as of now, my Python worksheet is showing, right? And now let me run this. So you can see here the Python sheet has been hidden. Now go to right click and unhide. Now you can see here, right? in the same way in case you want to visible that particular sheet then simple you can use ws dot api dot visible equal to true right now the sheet is visible and instead of workbook dot sheet because we have already created the object for the ws right so simple you can use ws which is api and visible equal to false right or any specific sheet you want to hide or unhide then you can supply that particular worksheet name as well okay these thing you need to remember so guys now the question is how we can hide all the worksheet name except python or test worksheet okay so first of all we need to apply the loop for sheet and wb dot sheets right and now i am saying if sheet dot name right equal to equal to python or sheet dot name equal to equal to which is test right then simple sheet which is api visible equal to false right now let me run this there is no sheet which belongs to python or vba if i am doing right click then simple you can see here the python and i think there is no sheet which is test right so we can use here the test to right now let me run this once again so we have hidden the worksheet which is python and test2 right and now if you want to visible all the sheet once again so for sst in wb dot sheet sheet which is api and visible equal to true which is sheet right all the sheet is visible okay and in case you want to hide or unhide multiple sheets simultaneously then simple you can use wb which is sheets and here you can supply the multiple sheet let's say sheet 1 and sheet 2 which is uh, visible equal to false so you can see here the both sheet are hidden right and now another question is how to select multiple worksheet okay so guys simple wb which is sheets and here you can supply the multiple sheet name which is let's say test two and for an example python and let me take another sheet name which is sheet 3 sheet 3 dot select 
So now you can see here, these three sheet has been selected, fine. And now how we can copy the spreadsheet, copy a sheet. So simple WB, which is sheets. And here you can supply the, let's say, which sheet you want to copy, okay? So for an example, I want Python and dot copy. And guys here, I'm not supplying the my destination, okay? So on which place I want to copy that particular worksheet. So by default, that particular worksheet will copy at the end of the spreadsheet, okay? So now let me run this. Python 2. Okay. And now the question is, I want to copy the spreadsheet on a specific location. Okay. How can I do that? So WB, which is sheets, let's say here, I'm using again, Python and dot copy. And here also you can supply after and before. So let's say I'm using here the after, which is WB dot sheets. And let's say, uh, which is test two right name equal to python copied now let me run this after the test two we have successfully copied the spreadsheet in the same way you can use the before command as well so copy and paste or uh, let's say before i am using here which is python worksheet okay so let me copy this and here you can use the that particular spreadsheet name now let me run this. So what happening is, okay, so we are getting error. So the error is Python copied already present in my workbook, okay? So we need to change the Python copy too. Fine. And guys, in the same way, we can move our spreadsheet as well. Okay? So for an example, if I want to move that particular sheet after let's say Python 2, okay? So how can I do that? So simple, let's say WB, which is sheets. And here you need to supply which sheet you want to move. Let's say for an example, I want test two. And you need to use here the API, which is so move. So here also we can supply the after or in before. So let's say after equal to WB, which is sheets. And here you can supply the sheet name, which is let's say Python and two, okay and you need to supply here also api now let me run this so guys we are getting error so move got an unexpected keyword argument which is after okay so let me which is caps so guys you can see here so where is the move spreadsheet okay so that particular sheet has been added successfully in the separate workbook right so guys, in case you want to move that particular sheet in an existing workbook, then you need to use here the none. Okay. And now let me change the spreadsheet name. Let's say I want, which is, let's say Python. Okay. So which is Python here. Okay. And now let me run this. So you can see here, we have successfully moved the file, right? So you need to remember one thing in case you are not supplying the none. So that particular worksheet will be added in a separate workbook. Okay. And now the last question is how we can protect and unprotect the our worksheet. Okay. So for an example, let's say I want to protect that particular worksheet, which is active sheet, right? So how can I do that? So my, the sheet name, which is uh, WS, right? WS dot name, which is Python. Okay. So simple WS dot API and protect. And here you need to supply the password. So here password I'm supplying, let's say ABC. Now let me run this. So now you can see here, we cannot change anything, okay? In case you want to unprotect, then simple, you can use here unprotect, right? Right? And for any specific sheet, simple, you can use WB, which is sheets, and you can supply the sheet name, which is, let's say, uh, sheet three. Again, API, which is protect, P should be caps, right? Protect. And here, password ABC. Now you can see here, right? So guys, this is all about how we can play with the Microsoft Excel worksheet using the Excel wings. So guys, please practice of this session as much as you can so that you can easily understand upcoming session, okay? So guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.